Does anyone else get those random light bulb moments and you're like, oh shit, I got free will and you want to just randomly like run outside without pants on and like throw a rock in a pond or something. It, it, you just have like these realizations like, oh my god, like I have control over my life. When I first heard some of these quotes that I'm going to share today, that's how I felt. And I hope that with this video, that's the type of feeling you're going to get. I did take a couple notes here so I can try to stay on track and not make this too long of a video, but um, the first one is, imagine you get bitten by a snake, but instead of helping yourself recover from the deadly poison, you chase after the snake, start arguing with the snake, and you try to prove to the snake why you didn't deserve to be bitten. Obviously, this is not about snakes, this is about women. When you get backstabbed, our first instinct is to figure out why. You know, why? Why did I deserve this? This isn't fair. We always want what's fair. Life isn't fair. That's just how it is. You're so focused on, dude, what did I do to deserve that? What about me? What? That is a them issue. It's not about you, right? If you get cheated on, that's your sign that number one, you should not be with that person, all right? Because that person is, is not right for you and you deserve better. But second of all, that's your time to take care of yourself. Instead of chasing after the snake and be like, snake, why'd you bite me? Take care of your poison. Heal your wounds. Do stuff to improve yourself. Let me make something very clear. Being a man doesn't mean that you're emotionless. You, you have no feelings. I don't feel anything. No. That's not what makes you a man. What makes you a man is you feel all of those feelings and you still make the right call afterwards. You know, you're feeling really down, you're feeling bad about yourself, you know, you're anxious about something, whatever. Too bad. It's not about not feeling them, it's about how you react. You still get the job done even when you're feeling bad. You know, if you're feeling really happy and you want to just party all day and have tons of fun, but you know you gotta get shit done, you gotta put those emotions aside, put those feelings aside, and get done what you have to get done. That is what being a man is. It's not about not feeling the emotions. It's about feeling the emotions, but not reacting to the emotions in an irrational way. That's what it's all about. People keep saying, oh man, you gotta just not feel anything. I don't feel anything anymore. Bullshit, you don't feel anything. I know you feel things, but you're being strong. That's what you're saying. You're saying, hey, yeah, I do feel sad, but I'm not gonna droop around all day and be a lazy bum because of it. No, no, you're gonna get shit done. Everyone has goals. Everyone has obsessions. Everyone has their own ambitions. We're all wired to be who we are. We all have images of who we want to be in the future. That's just how it works. And people are gonna look into your life, look at your goals, look at your obsessions, and they're gonna belittle them, right? They're gonna be like, that's a waste of time. That's a bad addiction. You know, it's never gonna work. These people that look into your lives, they're looking at what you're doing at face value, right? So they're like, okay, this guy is, for some reason, you know, spending his Friday nights inside recording videos for his YouTube channel that has 200 subscribers. Like, what a waste of time. Like, that's how they're looking at it. They're looking at it straight up, face value. But what they aren't thinking about is, what if it works? Do you guys ever think about that? You guys have those goals or those dreams that are flowing around in your head all day? What if it works? Those people that are looking into your life, they don't see that. They just see literally what you're doing. At the same time, you can't really blame them. Yeah, you know, you're putting a lot of time into a YouTube channel that only has 200 subscribers. But every single successful YouTuber has been at 200 subscribers at some point. So the point is, is that these people are saying, oh, it's a waste of time, you know, oh, it's an addiction, it's never gonna work. You're never gonna be a famous YouTuber. And that's true. That part is true. You might never become a famous YouTuber. But they were wrong about the waste. It's a waste if you don't become famous. No, what the hell? What are you talking about? It's not a waste. You're learning. You're practicing. You're doing something you love. You're getting better at editing. You're getting better at talking to a camera. You're getting better at talking in general. You're getting confidence. You're, you're, you're following your dreams. Those are all wins. And that's kind of how I view this channel, if I'm being honest, right? You know, like, I'm, I'm not famous. You know, but I've been doing YouTube videos for like eight years. I used to make Minecraft videos. I'm probably never gonna be able to do this full time, but I love it and I've learned so much. You know, I don't think it's a waste at all. Dude, man, like I knew you had it. Like, dude, that's awesome, man. That I'm like, dude, you were like shitting on me like a couple years ago. You have to find the balance between enjoying what you're doing right now 
without sabotaging your future self, right? So when people are like, you know, don't hang out with friends. Now's the time to grind, you know? No, hang out with your friends. Create memories. Do cool things, right? But those cool things doesn't mean drinking and driving or something. You know, obviously that's an extreme example, but it's like do cool things, create good memories, but don't let those memories sabotage your future. You know, if you have stuff that you got to work on, I'm not saying call off work, quit your job, fucking take a two-month vacation because it's for the memories. It's for the lore. Nah, man. Get your stuff done. Have fun on the weekends. You know, go out on a random Wednesday, whatever. That's all good. Don't throw away your future for your current self. But also, don't throw away your current self for your future. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.